Coming at me, you better get your oh, ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> My little shooter like AI. This is Ebony JV and I'm back with another video. Um, today we're in the second episode of the Griselda series. I'm finding this series so fun, like I really anticipate videoing it. I'm very excited to finish, you know, this series. I'm not excited to finish it because I'll be a bit disheartened, but I'm very excited to like do more episodes of this series because I really do enjoy it when I sit down to record it. So last episode was many of the butchers, the plugs I met, stupendous body of work. I'm actually so disappointed in myself that I have not been listening to Griselda like sooner than I have but you know what there is a first time for everything and I'm already a super fan like I'm already a big fan of this scene and I got so many comments telling me I gotta do Tana Talk 3 now I do want to do that one so bad but I promised myself that I would fairly dive in like I would do one person then do another person then do another person you know what I mean I'll give them all give them all fair attention I don't want to leave any one of them out so I'm thinking to myself as much as I want to do Benny the Butcher's Hand Talk 3 which is a street classic I'm hearing so much good great stuff about it I can't it's it's on pause I'm, I'm gonna do it as an episode don't get me wrong it will be an episode but it's not the next one because I literally just did Benny and I gotta be fair so I did say last episode I'm gonna do Conway next. One that I've decided to review and you know react to today is Conway's Lulu, which came out 2020. Um, and I'm I'm interested because again it's with a very top producer, the Alchemist. He has very stupid skills in production, which is another reason why I picked this because not only do I want to look at it from a lyrical street rap angle and obviously just getting into Conway, that production that they have that is typical of their style of rap music. I really want to see what Alchemist does with it. I'm just going to get started. We're going to get into Conway's Lulu. Okay. Oh, this is so stupid. You need to get you one, man. Stop playing. That ain't my flow, man. What ain't your flow? Smooth. That sounds really haunting. The oh, no. That was a sick intro because it was like, it had the musical, it had the musicality in it because it had those kind of haunting keys being played there. Well, not keys, they sounded a bit like synthy. They sounded a bit like synths, but not quite, because of the way they were falling. They were falling like keys. But either either way, there was the musical aspect of it, and then there was like a kind of skit element to it, because I was like talking, they sounded like they kind of put in like a movie scene or something. It sounded, it sounded like it was setting the scene, basically. It sounded like I was about to listen to something great. <laughs> The Mac and the Burberry trenches Free all the real rights that serve in a sentence And then work for the business, right? Louis Kicks, Virgil May, just purple suede Killing can purple haze while we were serving yays oh. And I murder the stage, let you niggas slide and make sheen gun turn in this grave When it's time to shoot, I don't get cold feet oh. 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 He doesn't get cold feet no, this is completely gutter rap music. This is this is what I really want to hear. Fortune, oh. the Christian lose cost. This production is stupid because it has that like hauntingness to it, but then it's a little kind of key it infuses a little bit of like kind of soul, a bit of, and then it goes like those keys are. Do people know what I'm talking about? I need to catch it. I'm the big ticket when I'm moving through Boston. They're praying on my downfall, want me to lose fortune. It sounds like, it's not even keys, it sounds like strings. It sounds like strings come in there a little bit and they give it, they give it a bit of like a, I don't know whether it's a bit of a soul vibe, a bit of a jazz vibe or something. Then it's just to get you a car. <laughs> Balenciaga drip on my exotic bitch. Yeah. I put the play together and I got a switch. Yeah. I'm getting money like I'm supposed to be. I ain't one show ho, that bitch chose me. Like 14 KIs, I, it's, it's stupid. I absolutely love that track. The the part for me is when the strings come in for like two seconds and it gives it like a bit of a Latin vibe as well. But it's like, uh, 14 guys is stupid. Positive, I don't need no sympathy. I'm gonna go till infinity. I wrote with intensity plus my potent delivery. This sounds like, it sounds so, yeah, this vibe is like, it doesn't sound haunting or like gutterish. It sounds really like, 
like it, it has this kind of regal kind of undertone to it. It sounds so powerful and majestic because it's got all these like trumpets or something going on. I just hope they remember me when them broke niggas mention me. It don't not even trumpets. It's got like make no sense to me. Like it's giving me like the Rocky theme tune vibes or the Rocky tune where he's going up the stairs. Nigga, I love got mad and ran to the internet and spoke what he did for me. Yo, you know you offended me. I don't owe you a penny. Don't want cause I don't love you. I just don't need your energy. Oh. They love you when you up. Oh my gosh, I, t I said in the last episode that Conway interested me when I was hearing his features in, in Pray for Paris that I felt like he might have been my favourite then I listened to Benny's The Plugs I Met and I was like, oh my gosh, but I love Benny's tone he literally makes you like, he makes you feel like you just want to go and s like enter that life, enter the streets, sell a few bricks and survive I just like Conway's cadence, I like I don't know, it's hard. I don't know if I could have a favorite. I'm about to drop the bag. I'm about to drop the bag. I'm about to drop the big bag. I'm sure the about to come and do the bag. No, I love that bit. What the hell? Dropped off the bag. I'm laughing because I love this. This is great. I'm about to drop the big bag. I'm sure the about to do the bag. Do you bad when I drop off the bag? I cannot even lie to you, the contract is an instant favourite. I absolutely love the production. It's different. It doesn't have that kind of scary underground gutter feel to it. I mean, it still has an element of that, which is crazy because it's, it's just production is doing so much. It has an element of that gutter feel, but it's not the main feeling from I get from this track. I get this overwhelming power, like this, this, this energy that is just so overpowering, really. It sounds like such a boss regal track sounds like it sounds elegant it sounds elegant but it's still demanding and dominant it's literally got an it's literally just it's a it's a juxtaposing track it really is and i love what conway did with it his flow was perfect the perfect pace the perfect everything i loved it was just perfect <laughs> no no okay i'm not ready for this Again. Oh. Yeah. This display of this um is image of the album or EP whatever. The shark coming out of the water reminded me of Jaws, literally very Jaws like. This beat is like, is it would be the theme sound for that shark. Like that shark is coming out the water, and this beat is just the perfect track for it. And it's just like, this the shark's coming for you. Oh. Get out, get out, get in the lyrics right now. Please pick a side or run from your boy. Boy. Who wanna die? My gun kill for joy. <laughs> Where's the strap? I Who wanna die? My gun kill for joy, 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 joy. Come take a dive, my demon. Deploy, deploy, deploy. <laughs> Coming at me, you better get your ass. Yes. My little shooter like AI bitch on them brakes when I rip the plastic. Oh. Yeah, you know, on the shit every time Alchemist send me a folder. It's a rap for these rap niggas, literally it's over. I'm Please pick a side, I'll run from your boy. How many times I did it my way? Yeah. I'm from where you gotta fire your biscuit. Listen, I just break up inside of your kitchen. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> my environment different. <laughs> right here is so funny guys i just want to say that um i'm so happy i picked this yeah i'm in position niggas dying to get it you wouldn't know what to do with it if i let you get it feeling on my boots in the streets or on the beach schoolboy q you absolutely killed the hook you did exactly what this beat did his voice had this it sounded haunting and already the beat was haunting already the beat was scary this kind of, he has a kind of soul in his voice a little bit because he sounds so like a bit bluesy. Like this is what he his tone of voice reminds me of what our ancestors or what our ancestors in the freaking plantations when they were singing 
their woes that's the kind of approach he gave this it's like he was just it was like that kind of woeful singing but he's not singing woes he's not singing about sadness or freedom or wanting to escape as our ancestors were he's singing about you better watch out the blues element to it it makes what the message is giving sc scary because it's like you've never heard a kind of blue soulful kind of t like voice take on a street kind of message it's, it's like what and then let's not even talk about Conway and his flow and his bars. My favorite bar was the Malcolm X one because that, that picture is iconic. How did I not hear this sooner? I'm so disappointed in myself. In the last video, I saw the feature Black Thought and it I didn't like, the thing is I've, I listened to the roots and I've listened to the roots. So I know the roots, but I didn't, I listened to the, if I admit, I listened to the roots ignorantly. So I listened to them just as a group and I didn't listen to them and know them like well enough. When I saw the name Black Thought, I was like, oh, Black Thought, okay, a feature. I don't know, I didn't identify that he's Black Thought from The Roots because I've listened to The Roots and I didn't know their names and who was in there. I listened to The Roots ignorantly. I put my hand up for that. I listened to The Roots ignorantly, but yeah, that's just one thing I'm uh, disappointed about. I thought I'd share that with you guys, you know, my deep internal disappointment. You know, I disappoint myself every day, but that was just one disappointment I had to, I had to share. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it a lot. Yeah. I'm in the hood, I'm still on my block. I know some shooters that run in your spot, hit you with a shot. I've seen it a lot. Getting money in prison, rock hard glass glasses, spinning the yard. Ain't no drive rides, we in your bushes, we jumping out while you was parking your car. Shit, yeah, nigga, we still in the trenches, scoping the stick, I can hit you from distance. Fuck, nigga, thought he was riding on me, got the drop on the first one to end to his mission. Don't want it, how you a fool with the sample? Hard on the pen, nigga, I'm Julius Randall. Get out of pocket, I'm popping this spot, hit you with a shot, I seen it a lot. Oh, I seen it a lot. A dial tone kind of effect in there. No, this beat is stupid. You know how before I thought the contract, or did I, I thought shoot sideways. Sorry, was like that sharp beat and a shark coming out the water and that having a soundtrack. That that would be the shoot sideways track. But Calvin, or maybe is the shark is coming out the water. It's looking round. You know, it's showing face. The shark is there, letting you know it's there. But then Calvin is when you don't know the shark is there. The shark is hunting. It's being a predator. It's a predator and it's prime. It's under the water, just slightly under the water. All you see is the little, what's that thing called? Little triangle thing. Skidding through the water. And it's just, it's just ready. It's just coming slowly. It's hunting. That's what the Calvin beat could be. Shoot sideways, the shark is showing face. But Calvin, it's... Four in the deal. I was still selling narcotics, smoking this chronic, just giving me socks. Gum in my hip, ain't no question, I got it. Keep me a young nigga with a bag, I'll pay a few dollars and have niggas next to you. Aiming a tag at you, shooting at you right in front of your mama. Oh. Yeah. You right in front of your mama. Gosh. He definitely doesn't live a PG lifestyle. He don't even live an 18 lifestyle. There's not even any age rating for this. Just don't watch. They trying to see who gonna catch the most bodies. The niggas is racing. The shot I seen it a lot. Wow. Um. Wow. Just literally saying all the things he's seen with his own two eyes, being in the la in that lifestyle, that he's seen it all. And in fact, the all that he's seen, he's seen it a lot. <laughs> What's your name? Ace. I'm Lulu. Lulu. Okay, what kind of Yeah, <laughs> look, I listen to niggas' albums like, what the fuck all the hype about? Like, nigga, I could write one verse that'll wipe them out. Okay. The Rams are going to get a tan key. Uh -huh. Only the real street niggas going to understand me. Yeah. I'm from where the kids don't get a new jack and fall. Roach in the cereal and every spoon black in the drawer. Oh. Mama, it's grow house when I roll a blunt. Uh -huh. Nigga got smoked last night. He ain't been home a month. Uh -huh. So to the I'm an incomparable artist. Transcends. 
This is a compelling performance. Uncut raw, compressed from the connect to the corner. I can't oh, this is an acapella performance. Uncut raw. It's like he's saying, this is raw, this is raw rap. And so is the drugs. The drugs is fresh. There's a lesson in every lesson. Never ignore this. Two things I've never been on paperwork or extorted. I'm yeah, I really like They Got Sunny. I mean, nothing's let me down, nothing. I'm listening to every song. Smoking this mimosa. <laughs> Why the popo so vexed for? They raid the wrong house. We had the dope of money next door. Oh, that's what they so upset for. They broke so they gon' stress more. Oh, this beat is stupendous. It has the high pitched for like four, and then it goes to the low pitch for like another four. What the heck? Girl with the connect for dog food in the trunk, like I just left the pet store. Free the Brody, they got my dude up in the mountains. His baby mamas even seduced a couple spouses. I just blew a couple thousand on we'll shoes that seduced a couple spouses. Yeah, I doubt that. Set the streets on fire and niggas ain't put me out yet. Machine bitches. I told my shooter when you shoot it, you unlooking. Who out there when he slide, he gon' pull up and start emptying the pole. Everybody goes, nigga goes, yeah. I say the word, niggas gon' run down. So how to shoot this SK? I gotta teach my son now. Oh, How you no. gangsta? You ain't never do shit. You ain't never shoot shit. Never been to jail. I can tell you a bitch. Mate, some people would go through life having never gone to jail. And, you know, they would be happy with that. You know, they would feel content. I didn't go behind bars. But he makes you feel like you gotta go behind. What are you doing? You've not been behind bars? Oh, you a wuss. <laughs> Telling you quit. When you the best at what you do, ain't nobody on your level who spit. Came from the bottom, from shovel and shit. Now, and I gave her impeccable dick. I keep this Mac 11, I grip. I let off a clip when I throw my gun in the air where the fresh will stick. Then I'm hot because it's like generally like 25 degrees in London right now, but I'm also hot because these bars are just fire. In the bowl, and everybody goes, nigga. Goes. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. I have a question though for my subscribers following the series or any new people following this series. Um, is and are, are like very knowledgeable of the whole Griselda scene. Is that a particular reason why Conway seems to do the boop 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 boo, and the grrr and the doo 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 doo? <laughs> He seems to do it more than the others. Um, is there any particular reason why? I'm not even, I, I love it. I love that he does that. I think it's great. Um, I just want to know why he seems to do it the most. Every song, even the intro I will listen to. It's stupendous. I, I don't know. Lulu is great. Lulu is really great. I don't know why I didn't get more recommendations to listen to Lulu because I feel like Lulu is great. And I don't know why, I mean, I'm only just getting into this scene um, I'm only just getting into the scene, but you know, a lot of people prefer Benny um, over like everyone else, and I completely can see why. Benny is stupid. He's so great at what he does. His flow, his cadence, his the energy, the gutter feel that his voice brings. Let alone adding that to a track, is like he's great, honestly. Um, but Conway is sick. Conway is so sick. Like for me, it's really tight to say that I prefer one over the other between Conway and Benny. In terms of Westside, I like Westside because he's very unique, and that's Westside's advantage here. I think they all have different advantages. Um, Benny is like he's got the gutter in his voice. He's so great at telling the story. That's it. He's extremely great at telling the story, and in that sense, he kind of gives me Biggie vibes. Only because Biggie was a great storyteller as well, and the way that benny comes with this th the storytelling reminds me of how biggie did it yeah so that's like that's like benny's advantage the storytelling the gutter that he brings in the storytelling is excellent and then for me west side's like usp <laughs> his unique selling point his like advantage like his main thing is how unique he is with his tone his tone is so different you would almost forget how old he is because his tone is so different and then for conway <laughs> I don't know, I'm still trying to place Conway's, like, because Conway, he switched his, his tone in different songs many times. I think he's quite versatile. Conway's the most versatile from what I've heard so far. I don't know, I could get to Benny's Tana Talk 3 and he could show me some stupid versatility and then I'm back to square one of wondering who's got the best of what. But so far, 
I feel like Conway is quite versatile in the way he says things and in the way he he presents himself. But apart from that, it's going to be really hard for me to pick a favourite. I really love Lulu. I think Lulu, for me, is going to get a... No, it's going to be an 8. I really feel like it's gonna be Lulu is an eight for me. Lulu was great. Shoot sideways. That track is stupid. Schoolboy Q, you absolutely killed the hook. Such a highlight for me of this album. Um, other highlights for me was the production in Calvin and the contract. The album is definitely got that street gutter vibe. But then I really liked how in the contract it I had a bit more of a regal energy. A bit more of a royal energy so i liked how that production switched a little bit temporarily in this album but then it kind of went back to the dark gutter vibe that, that um was typical of this scene that's the end of my reaction review to conway the machines lulu i am so excited to listen to more of him just like i'm excited to listen to more benny and more west side um this is my second episode of the griselda series if you want to see some more of me reacting and reviewing and talking about more about the griselda crew then do not forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up leave comments down below and stay tuned i'm trying to keep episodes coming every week i'm trying to get up to five episodes and if i get up to five episodes and i want to do more then i'll do more but if you want to see me react and talk about it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn off on those post notifications so that you can stay tuned in thank you guys for watching stay safe i'll see you all next